Hi friends, welcome. Welcome to this very unique day, the fourth Sunday of Advent, but also it's Christmas Eve. So it is good that we're here. Let us continue to pray for everyone on our prayer list and let us pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, thank you. Thank you for this wonderful finish to the Advent season and the beginning of the Christmas season. Be with us all. Pray for peace. We pray for peace in our world, in our hearts, in our cities. We pray for all the sick and all those who have died and anyone who might find this time of year very stressful or difficult and for those who are not with their families during this time. And we pray also always for vocations. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. In coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what he was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born, who will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. So if you are a parish staff member or a liturgist, you don't like today. It's very unusual that it only happens every six, seven years when the fourth Sunday of Advent is also Christmas Eve. So you have all the Sunday Masses, and then you go a couple hours, and then you start the Christmas season. So friends, uh, this gospel is from the fourth Sunday of Advent, and it's the story of Mary being told, the Annunciation, being told that she's going to be the, uh, the mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, Mary was a teenager. She did not know what was going on. Because remember, friends, when you and I read Scripture, we know how the story goes. They don't. They were living the story. And so when we listen to Mary say, let it be done for me, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Her complete trust in Jesus, not, well, not in Jesus, in God, that she will become the mother of the Savior of the world. And I love how the scripture says there is nothing that is impossible for God. Because look at Elizabeth, who was old age, we don't know how old, but she thought was thought to be barren, and she was six months pregnant, and we know with John the Baptist. And so, friends, as we finish this Advent time, our fourth candle is lit, and we move directly into Christmas, how are we grateful for what we have been given in life, what we have been given with the gifts and talents God has given us, and then how are we willing to use the gifts that Jesus gives us through the incarnation, through his birth? Jesus, who is the Savior of the world. Jesus, who will never, ever abandon us. Jesus, who loves us beyond belief. And so, as we celebrate Christmas, know it's the best gift that we're ever going to be given is Jesus Christ. And I always encourage, friends, all of us, when we have little children, to teach them Christmas isn't just about the gifts from Santa. Those are important for little kids. But you know what I always like to do? Have you ever seen the kneeling Santa? Where Santa takes his cap off and he kneels in church in front of the manger? Teach that to young kids. Teach that to your children, your grandchildren, the little people, the little nieces and nephews in your life, to show that even Santa knows that before he goes and delivers all his toys, 
who does he go to? Jesus, and give him homage and praise. Because that's why Santa is in business. Teach your children that. It's a beautiful way for them to learn that the gifts are all about Jesus' birthday. And as we give gifts and receive gifts, let us always know that it is in the spirit of Jesus' birth. So friends, let's never give up. Let's be grateful for all that we've been given. And let us celebrate this Christmas season. The octave of Christmas is eight days. So for the next eight days, we celebrate Christmas as if it's every day. That's what the octave means. And that we're grateful for all that God has given us. I'm grateful for you. And this ministry of sharing with you every Sunday, I hope it will continue. And I'm told by the people who help me with this that it's very important for you to like our, if you like the homily, just press like. And if you want, leave a comment, because I'm told that that's what will help get the message out to others. And so please do that if you're able, and uh, let us continue to trust each other, love each other, be there for each other. Let's continue to pray for peace. You know, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. We need his peace, don't we, today? We need his peace everywhere. In the parts of the world that are in so much turmoil, especially in the Holy Land, we need to pray to the Prince of Peace. And let us pray for ourselves, and let us pray that we will follow Jesus, bring him to others and others to him, and that we will be grateful for the gifts that he has given us. My friends, how good it is that we are here. Thank you for being with me. God bless you all. And let us always remember, Jesus is the King of the world. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Happy birthday, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas to us all.